Analytics, algorithms, big data, and automation are all set to dramatically enhance innovation, productivity, and decision-making. Coming up next, learn how the robotics revolution is changing our world. Materials have always played an essential role in technological advances. From electronics and water purification to clean energy and global health, materials have allowed for the expansion of humanity's well-being. Yet, to date, only a small fraction of all possible materials have been explored. Nature is capable of so much, and some of what can only be admired as marvelous phenomena when broken down. Trees, for example, they take something as so foundational as sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to grow and produce energy via photosynthesis, which generates oxygen, the very ingredient that we need to breathe and live. And what do we exhale or emit back to nature? Carbon dioxide. So this harmony and perfection is simply amazing. Nature is able to create and grow key materials by combining ingredients or molecules, which are the building blocks of matter, in the right way with the right reactions and conditions. The Earth receives more solar energy from the sun in one day than the entire planet consumes in one year. However, we can only harvest a tiny fraction of it. And that's because we lack high performance material that can efficiently capture and transform this energy from the sun. People in the world, uh, researchers, are trying to find ways to uh, make materials to convert energy more efficiently, but also to store it, because now if you have energy from wind and, sol and solar, one of the big problems is to be able is our intermittent energy, and we, ne we need to be able to store it. And so we need to find ways to store this energy into batteries or into chemical bonds. And so one of the things that we do also in our lab is how can we efficiently convert this energy, which is intermittent, into chemical bonds. And on top of it, we know, why don't we try to find technology to convert CO2, this greenhouse gas, plus energy into chemical fuels. And this is one of the big challenges that we have to tackle uh, in the coming years. And one way to do that is to create new material and new chemistry to tackle that problem. The discovery and development of new materials can take up to 20 years of basic and applied research. While scientists are working to create new materials and tools, one of the main bottlenecks of these discoveries lie in the analysis and understanding of the materials data. We have AI, machine learning, robotics, supercomputers, and we need to integrate them to help us generate the recipes to create those breakthrough materials. And if we can create the right environment for them to collaborate with less friction, there is a great opportunity to considerably increase the way and the speed at which we make breakthrough materials. Now, in an effort to solve issues associated with materials discovery, an early stage AI and machine learning technology company is helping to facilitate the move to the digital economy. Our technology enables self-driving laboratories. So just like self-driving cars, we have this uh, automated and autonomous systems that our software controls. So it's the brain of self-driving laboratories that allow not only to uh, make things faster with robots and uh, or robotic platforms, but also it allow with the algorithms it allows to analyze the data, make better predictions, and make decisions on what next experiments, what next iterations to run. By integrating AI, machine learning, and automation into a single closed loop, the platform enables and accelerates the digital transformation of Industry 4.0 optimizing processes to enable a faster, smarter, and less expensive path to materials discovery. Science and technology are essential to accelerate the transition to a sustainable planet and the circular economy. You can accelerate processes such as chemical reactions by up to seven times compared to existing methods used in industry. This translates into faster discoveries, uh, lower operating expenses, less materials, produce less waste, higher productivity, higher competitiveness, and profitability. A renowned Mexican scientist, Nobel laureate in chemistry, Dr. Mario Molina, referred to the early efforts that led to the development of this technology as a second revolution in science. Today, 
one of the big problems we have in, in research is that of, a lot of operations actually are very tedious, even laborious. And to actually integrate you know, robotics and machine learning in our daily basically research activity would be very nice because we'll be able to concentrate on the real thing that matters, to think about the future. With a broad range of uses and applications across several industries, the technology platform offers to augment researchers' capabilities, improve decision-making, and offers the possibility of reshaping the scientific experimentation and discovery process. Technologies like this one can create the opportunity to rethink and reimagine the way we teach and practice science. If we can change the way we collect, process and analyze data and information and can implement our ideas, there is the potential to quickly reverse uh, some of the global challenges that humanity has been facing for some time now. If we teach our kids and our scientists computer science, AI, and implement some of the advanced technologies into industrial and research processes. This change will happen from the bottom up, from classrooms to schools and universities, to research labs, to corporate boardrooms. We believe that for global challenges, we need global and multidisciplinary solutions. And this is what will create an environment for creativity, imagination, and ingenuity.